Hey, where are you? Hey guys, um, just off the back of my Cloudpaw review, I was also sent a tank along with it. Um, a tank that I hadn't actually heard of and I just wanted to do a quick review for this. So basically this is the Smock VCT tank. Massive ass tank, I think it can hold about 5 mils of liquid. Um, but yeah, it's it's a VCT which stands for Vapor Chaser Tank by Smock. Uh, I do have another Smock device actually, one that I bought a while back which is the SCAR which is a rebuildable dripper. Um, and yeah, this is going to be quite a quick, quick review for me. It is a, a sub-ohm tank, high airflow. Uh, the coil that comes with it, you get a, two coils, the one that's in it and a replacement. It's a 0.5 ohm coil and it recommends on the coil 15 to 30 watts to power it, um, which seems fair. So yeah, 0.5 ohm coil. You might be able to see inside the tank, it has um, slots in the in the atomizer where there are massive air slots so that you can get lots of wicking going on. Um, some of the coils, including this one, actually have adjustable sliders at the top so you can close off some of that air hole. Um, so it's nice to have that kind of customization. Uh, there are three or four different types of coils that you can get for this. So again, more and more customization, which is always good. Um, the airflow dial on it is at the bottom. You can see that the airflow holes, there are two of them. They are wide open. Um, you can slide them so that you can get them anything up to fully closed, not that you'd want to. Um, but what I mean, what I have found, that's probably more useful for high VG liquids that need a tighter draw to wick um, the to wick the wick. But basically, if you're using a, a unless you're using something more than 50-50 VG, PG, PG, VG, then fully open is probably the way to go. Um, but yeah, there you go. So... I'm running this, you can see it's also got a wide bore um, drip tip, forgot the word then, for getting loads of airflow. Um, I think this is removable, yeah, drip tip is, it is removable. Um, and you've got a Pyrex tank, 5mm Pyrex tank, um, I mean I'd quite like the look of it, it's not the most attractive thing in the world, but... It does, it looks perfectly fine, it's got good capacity, and to be honest, if it vapes well, who gives a shit? I've had some lovely looking tanks that have been absolute piles of crap lately. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to push this to through some different voltages to show you, some different wattages, sorry, to show you it in action. So we'll go for 15 to start, because that's where the coil um, recommends as a starting point. So here it is at 15 watts, which on here is coming up as 2.79 volts perfectly big cloud there for 15 watts I'm sure you'll agree okay now I'm going to jump straight to 20 so at 20 watts Okay, and screw 25, let's go straight to 30 watts. <clears throat> so. So, plenty of vapour. As far as I'm aware, this is at most a 50-50 liquid that's in here. This is the King from uh, Digby's E-Juice. So at 50-50, you're getting that. If you're going for a higher VG liquid, well, you can just imagine. You might need to turn off the fire alarms. But plenty of vapour, absolutely tons of flavour. I've only tried this liquid in it so far, but the flavour from it is phenomenal. One thing I worried about when I started, because this is the first sub-ohm vape that I've had. I've always gone to like 1.8. This is the first 0 0.5 ohm that I've gone for. One thing I worried about was that I'd get loads of clouds, but not much flavour. To be honest, it's massively surprised me. This thing pumps out the most flavour of any tank I've used. The Aspire Nautilus Mini, which has been, to be honest, crap so far for me. The coils, I don't know what's wrong with them, but they've been shite. Um, the Nautilus, I'm not getting much flavour from. The Aero Tank, you can get a fair bit of flavour. Um, but yeah, this, this gives out a ton of flavour. 
So if you want to be chasing clouds, but you don't want to sacrifice your flavor, um, then this is a great, great tank for that. Um, now, what I've noticed is if you drop this to 15, you get quite a cool vape. If you put it to about 20, it does get warmer. Around 25, you've got a nice warm vape. And at 30 watts, you get a really warm, hot, kind of cloudy vape. So, yeah, it, it works great at all those different wattages. Um, but for me, I mean, I've been using it mostly at 30. And, yeah, I've just been using it non-stop. I've gone through about two, two full tanks, I think, of this. Um, so, yeah, it is brilliant i mean it's a great great tank obviously if you're looking to get into sub ohm vaping there are lots on the market now you know you've got the aspire uh, atlantis you've got the kanga sub tank there are so many things coming out um, and i hadn't heard of this one but it has it is very impressive you do get if i just get the box plug that back on for a minute if i just get hold of the box that it came in which is always handy okay here it is all the information on the back you do get a scratch authentication code at the bottom which most things are shipping with now the cloud pour comes with it the, the nautilus comes with it um, and smock have included one too which is always good um, inside the actual box which just falls out like that you get the tank you also get um, a spare i won't take it out because it's embedded in there but you get a spare five mil pyrex tank which is quite nice and quite rare for the company to actually include a spare tank just in case that one um, breaks or you want to replace it or whatever. You get a spare one anyway. And you do also get the spare, if I can get it out, it doesn't want to come out. You get the spare 0.5 um, coil. And like I said earlier, you can, you can see actually the holes are halfway closed there. You can unscrew these ones so you've got a full hole for the, the liquid to saturate. Or you can narrow it down, which I guess is, is more for high VG liquids. But yeah, um, that's what you get inside. And I think there is actually something underneath as well. I think it might be a... Oh yeah, just underneath that, you've got a couple of extras. You've got a little bag of silica. I wouldn't use that to vape, but then I wouldn't use silica to vape anyway. You get a little attention card, which has got a couple of key points to remember when filling your tank i think that was actually on top of it i've put it underneath so uh you get a little manual which just tells you how to replace the core how to control the vapor by um using the airflow or using the little switch uh, the little turny dialy thing on the actual coil um and just goes through how to use it how to fill it all that kind of thing and you also get a couple of spare o-rings which i think go at the top of the tank just in case you need to replace those some people have, um, I've seen like a couple of reviews where people have said that one of the O-rings that connects the tank to the bottom part um, sometimes breaks. I've not had that. I don't even think I've got an O-ring there. I don't think there is an O-ring connected to it. Um, if there is, it must be seated well in the base, but it hasn't come out or damaged or anything. The tank hasn't leaked, gurgled at all. It's just pumped out clouds of vapour. Um, probably one of the most reliable vapes that I've actually had, to be honest compared to some of the leaky crap that I've used. Um, but yeah, that's basically basically it. So so yeah, it, it's a really good device, pumps out loads of vapor, great flavor, um, a range of coils that you can buy depending on what you want from it. Um, it comes with a spare glass, a Pyrex glass tube, which is always good, and a spare coil. Um, it is, it's very easy to refill, very easy to reconnect the coils. It's simple enough to use. The airflow is easy to use. It tastes great. It gives good vapor. It's reliable. What more could you ask for, really? Um, if you are looking for a sub ohm tank, then it is very, very good. I think Jack Vapor is selling them for $18.99, which is pretty impressive when you consider the amount you could pay for things like the Aspire Nautilus or the Kanga sub tank. So it's quite a low cost device for a sub ohm tank, um, but it, the performance of it is brilliant. So yeah, don't forget if you do want to pick one of these up from Jack Vapor, then use the code which is popping up now, uh, which will get you 15% off your order. If you don't already have one or if you haven't already seen the review, take a look at it.
for the Cloudpour Mini, which is a fantastic device and has all the power that you need to power this device. Um, last thing to point out, just to remind you, it is you do really want to be using 15 to 30 watts. I'd say 20 to 30 is, is probably the best um, for this tank. If you... If your device doesn't have that much power, you do want to get hold of something like the Cloudpour Mini, um, something that can power it. If you you're not going to get anything really from this at like 10 watts, it's just going to be it's going to be alright, but it's not going to be great. Um, so yeah, get yourself a powerful device if you don't have one. And yeah, I would really recommend this. It is a surprise. I thought it was going to be okay, um, but yeah, it does its job really well and that's all you can really say i guess you can't give higher praise than that so yeah don't forget that code if you do decide you want to pick it up from jack vapor that's about it really for that review uh thumbs up to smock for such a good product and happy vaping <laughs>